Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the first review of Series 4. Series 4 being Mint Long Cut. And as you just saw, it will be of the Stoker's product. So let's take a look at the packaging of that product now. You have a, in my opinion, fairly good looking metal lid. It is a pretty dark blue. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little hard on this camera, I realize. It's, the reflection here is absolutely terrible. All pretty much self-explanatory. It's got a raised metal rim, okay, uh, not real thick, width-wise. It is in bronze, and the stokers is raised. Everything else is flat to the can. Going around to the side banding, we have the warning label. This can's a little beat up now that I'm looking at it a little closer here. My local shop sort of... Yeah, see, the can isn't actually cracked. The, the, the lid must have pinched over. Cut longer for longer lasting flavor. Uh, that is, in my opinion, a true statement. You have the barcode. It is a 1.2 ounce net weight can. On the back, you have a best if used by date up top. Underneath, you have a coupon offer at stokersnuff.com. I have noticed that their website is now actually just stokers.com. I'm sure if you put Stoker Snuff in, though, it'll still lead you to the same spot. It is a product of the National Tobacco Company of Louisville, Kentucky. It is 100% U.S. tobacco. All right. Um, I'm, I haven't had this for, I don't know, probably been about a year, the mint version anyway, but I, I, I sort of know what to expect, so I'm just going to get it cracked now. Yeah, this can's all bent up. It's, it's been pretty bad, I can't get the... Let's see if I can. Okay, wow. Even, even the plastic was then in. Okay, so smell. It is a strong, pleasant, what I would describe as peppermint, uh, now that I'm actually smelling it. I hadn't had a mint for a while before I started this series, uh, right now. And uh, I was real up in the air as to what mints were. Were they peppermint or were they a mix? And now I'm starting to see that they're, they're peppermint. So it's a strong mint. Sort of gives you the idea that it may be a little sweet. The product is good moisture level. And fairly consistently cut. The cut is going to be long. I'm going to give you a product shot. That is just a tad darker than it is in person. Okay. So I am going to take a pinch of this. And then I'll be hitting the pause button. And I hope. Is it going to be like. Yeah. It's going to be like the winter green one. The winter green night, I went to pinch and like brought half the can with me. And this is going to be the sitting There we go. All right. Okay, and I am back. Okay, so the cut was as I expected. The product is slightly drier than Stoker's usually is in a long cut form. It's getting towards the end of its use by date. I mean, it's usually when I buy Stoker's in this area, it's like four or five months out. Now I did buy this about a week ago, but it's only a month out now, okay, until it hits its date. The product itself though will still juices up pretty good. Um, 
it is a pleasant, relaxed mint that is leaning to the sweet side. Okay. Um, there is a slight like mint tingle, but that this brings up another thing. I, I was just sitting here while I had it on pause and realized I have extremely limited knowledge of mints. Okay. The only mints that I think I've ever done had is Stoker's, the Skull Spearmint, which is sort of different. And I think I might have had Copenhagen once a long time ago. So my understanding was that although not as bad as the winter green products, usually there's like a mint tingle that goes on. Not a burn so much, but like more of a tingle. And with this, I get one slightly. Now, Stoker's, as I'm sure everyone has heard online, oh, it's got lower nicotine, this, and uh, it doesn't have any nicotine. Look, <laughs> okay. I'm sure it doesn't have as much nicotine as like Kodiak Winter Green, but nothing does. I chain smoked cigarettes for over a decade and then started rolling my own and basically chain smoked those too. I have a nicotine problem, okay? And I dip as my everyday the straight version of this. Believe me, if it had little nicotine in it, I wouldn't be bothered with it, okay? So. Now, I don't think you're going to get bowled over with nicotine, but at the same time saying that it's a low nicotine product, that's, that's just not the case, okay? Um, it's a pleasant mint, leaning to the sweet side, all right? Comfortable in the mouth, comfortable against the gum. No trail going around the side when I pushed it around the side at the break. Um... Very few floaters, if any, with this stuff. Basically, with Stoker's products, I, I because I, I switch up where I keep them, I sometimes switch up where it's placed during having it in my mouth. Like, I switch sides all the time. I move this stuff around. Um, it stays formed. It stays firm. Okay, it's not going to get mushy or, you know... It's not going to flatten out. Very few floaters, as I said. Yet, at the same time, it's comfortable. Okay? It's not quite as soft as, like, Kodiak Winter Green to the touch. It's usually much, much moist, more moist. Okay? And it's not quite as soft to the touch, but it, it feels absolutely fine in the mouth. I am a big fan of Stoker's. And that's part of the reason why I get it out of the way at the very beginning of these uh, series. But at the price of it, I mean, even around here, this is only, and I'm in a metropolitan area, this is like at least $2 lower than a can of Copenhagen. Okay. Copenhagen has products I like, but they're not my everyday. Um, so quality packaging, okay. Nice lid. Uh, the fact that this can evidently took a beating and I didn't notice it when I was buying it in the shop, it, it looks like it actually really got beat down pretty hard, but it hadn't it hadn't breached at all, and that's sort of a testament to the quality of the packaging in itself. If you like mint, you should definitely give it a try. Okay? Nothing... Nothing beats the cut. That's the standout of the Stoker's products, the cut. All right. Um, quality packaging, quality product inside. I mean, even people that try stuff from Stoker's and say, we don't like this. Even they usually admit, though, that it is a quality product and it's really cheap for the quality you get. So this has been the Stoker's Long Cut Mint Review. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. I would like to say hi and thank you to Jacob Hurst, Noah West, 
Whispersons, and Tyler Tedrick. Guys, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for continued support in general to Jeff Gravel. He was with me from almost the very beginning. And I'd like to know where Jimmy Anderson is. Jimmy, where are you? Anyway, guys, do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.